Hi, welcome back to my suburban garden. I'm Sheila, and I'm so glad you came back to see me. Um, today, I'm gonna talk about tomatoes. Specifically, determinate and indeterminate tomatoes. I kept hearing these terms. I didn't know what they meant. And so, when I see the video on YouTube, I just click through it. I, I wouldn't even watch it because I, it, they never really explained it. And I'm going to explain it to you today because I looked it up. So, apparently, determinate varieties of tomatoes are bush tomatoes. Same thing goes with beans. I'm growing bush beans. I'm going to grow some uh, um, pole beans, but that's for another video. So, apparently, determinant is the uh, term for the bush kind. So, indeterminate is the vine kind. So, the bush kind, the determinants, so they set all their fruit when they wait when they reach maturity, when they grow to their full mature height, they set all their fruit. The vine variety, you can uh, pick and come again. They produce fruit throughout their growing season. So who knew? Now I know, and now you know. Um, I'm going to ask you to subscribe, like this video, and comment on it. Um, ask me a question, I'll try to answer it. Um, but yeah, subscribe, like, really helps me. It's, I'm trying to grow this channel, channel, and I think I'm getting better at these uh, videos. So, anyway, back to tomatoes. Um, so, these are cherry tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes. So, indeterminates tend to be the, um, the cherries and the grapes, the small tomatoes. Determinants tend to be the big tomatoes, the sauce producing tomatoes. I say 10, I didn't dig deep into it because we eat cherry and grape tomatoes. We like small tomatoes. I don't grow the big tomatoes. If you wanna grow, do your research and see if there's any indeterminate, unless you have a short growing season. If you have a short growing season, then absolutely, because determinants make more fruit in all at once. And indeterminates make less fruit, but more often. So if you have a short growing season, plant determinants. But if you have a long growing season, like I'm in Georgia, so, I plant the indeterminates. I know what you're thinking. Why did you go to a big box store? You said you planted everything from seeds, and I did. And six weeks ago, I planted these tomatoes. And I still got to thin them out. Um, a little bit more, and I'm going to move them to a bigger container. I'm not giving up on these. But I wanted to get tomatoes started in the garden, so I went to the big box stores. So these are husky cherries, these are grapes, and um, I got two of each. Those two back there are bell peppers, but they're vining. So we're gonna set up a string system for the vines to grow up. I'll show you that when we do it. Um, it's still early, but yeah, that's all there is to it. I thought it was more complicated that that's all it comes down to. So if you want to grow the big tomatoes, do your research or grow determinants. Doesn't matter. I mean, it's up to you. You're just going to get one harvest out of them though. But this has been my suburban garden. I've been Sheila and I'm so glad you came.